Welcome to Art with Lorian, the place to reconnect with your divine inner artist and discover the joy of painting outside the lines. And so welcome to my Tools of the Trade episode. Today I'll be showing you how to make a viewfinder. And we use viewfinders uh, in episode 10 and also it's a great tool to have for other episodes and in your art making practice. And so what you'll require is a piece of Bristol board. I am using a repurposed piece. Uh, this is the Bristol board that um, we have used before. You can use part of a sheet. You won't need that much of it. And it is on my list of recommended supplies. Um, but to make this viewfinder, it's basically two L shapes. So it's not that much of it. And so that's why I'm using just this little piece here. You will require two paper clips scissors, whoops, a ruler, and a pencil, and that's it. So let's dive in. Uh, what you're going to do is I like to use the right angle, the corners of my paper, and it helps me get a nice shape. And um, I know I have one here, and this one's a little bit off, but basically I'm using the right corner here, right angle corner, and I'm going to measure one inch and you can make it any width, but I'm going to show how to do a one inch by six inch uh, L's to create your adjustable viewfinder today. And so I'm just going to, I'm going to make a little mark at the one inch point on either side. And then I'm also going to measure six inches. So six inches and right about here. So again, then I'm going to make my one inch just a little bit right here. Okay. And I'm going to draw that in now, as a matter of fact. So I'm just going to draw in my one inch. And same on this side. It's going to be six inches from the bottom, well, one inch across, and then six inches from the bottom, and right about here. And so you're basically making an L shape, and then cutting it out. If it's helpful, you can make the other, the other line. my adjustable viewfinder. Boop. Okay, and then if you don't like this little line here, you can always erase it and just flip it over. So that's one of my L's and let's see the second one. have your two pieces. They are two L's. It is a lot easier uh, to use the right angle. I didn't have it on my second one. But basically you're going to create one of these. And what's cool about cutting this into two parts, there's another way to create a viewfinder where you just have your, your rectangle and you cut the opening in the middle, um, the opening of your choice. But I like it to be adjustable. That's a fixed opening. This is a way to make an adjustable viewfinder. And the way that you adjust it is your two paper clips. So um, you measure your opening, and usually the opening is about, it's the same proportions, same ratio to the size paper you have. So um, like if I have a 12 by 16 inch paper, like the Bristol board paper or the watercolor paper, then I want a three quarters to one inch opening. So. It's just going to depend. You can change that depending on if you have a huge canvas or if you have, um, you know, whatever size paper you have. If it's a really small size paper, you can adjust this viewfinder um, if you're out in the world and you can carry this around in your, your bag with you and you can 
you know, compose shots just like you do with the camera and having this adjustability is really useful. So I'm just arbitrarily creating an opening here to show you how to connect the little paper clips and basically that's it. This is a very useful tool. You'll be using it lots and lots and I hope that you found this useful and thank you for joining me for Tools of the Trade. I look forward to next time and I'll see you in the studio.